This is a video for Edexcel Further Pure 1. Further Vector Geometry, section 2.3, using the cross product when calculating the equation of a plane. Well, we know that the equation of a plane can be expressed as r minus a dot n equal to zero. This is where n is a normal to the plane, p is the general point, and a is a known point on the plane. So r minus a gives us a vector which must lie in the plane, and because then the normal is perpendicular to that, we have that r minus a is a dot product with n must be equal to zero. In Cartesian form we can express it as n1 x plus n2 y plus n3 z plus d is equal to zero. So that's the um, r which is x y z, that's the general point, dotted with the normal n1 n2 n3, so those are the components of the normal, and then we have plus d equal to zero. So comparing these two here, that means that we must have in this case d is equal to negative of a dot n. Now what we want to do is to look at how the cross product then can be used to help us find the normal. Well we know that the normal to a plane, or a normal to the plane rather, can be found by using the cross product of a and b, where a and b are two vectors that lie in the plane. Now you're not always going to be given two vectors directly. You may, for example, in this case here, be given three points. But that means we can calculate the vectors quite straightforwardly, because the vector from a to b will be position vector b minus a, and the vector from a to c would be equal to position vector c minus a. So that gives us two vectors, and we can then find the cross product of those. Another situation is shown in the second diagram, where this time we're given a point and the equation of a line. Well, immediately the equation of the line gives us one vector in the plane, And if we've got a point, B, then we can find a second vector in the plane by using the vector from B to A, which of course would be equal to A minus B. So position vector A minus position vector B. And there again, we've there, therefore got two non-parallel vectors, which allows us to find the cross product of those to get the norm. Well, now I want to look at a couple of examples which illustrate those two ideas. In this first one, we're asked to find the equation of the plane passing through three known points. So A, B and C, given by their coordinates as written. So this diagram shows A, B and C on the plane, so we need to find the vector A, B and the vectors A, C. So that will give us two uh, vectors in the plane. And if we find the cross product of those, that will give us a normal n. So firstly, we need the vector a, b. And of course, that will be equal to position vector b minus position vector a. So 3, 0, 2, minus 2, 1, negative 1. And that's equal to 1, negative 1, 3. Similarly, a, c will be c minus a, and that is negative 1, negative 2, 4. So a normal n will be equal to a, b, crossed with a, c. So we could take 1, negative 1, 3, crossed with negative uh, 1, negative 2, 4. Now to calculate the cross product, we could use uh, the formula which are given on your formula sheet. So one way is to use this expression, and if you do that, please check 
that you get the value 2, negative 7 and negative 3 for the components of the normal vector. So we can use the fact that the equation of the plane then is r dot n equal to d where d is given by any of the um, position vectors a, b or c dotted with the normal. So I'm going to use b dot n and b dot n will be equal to position vector b 3, 0, 2 dotted with the normal and the normal we've calculated to be 2, negative 7, negative 3. If you work out that dot product you get 6 plus 0 and then plus negative 6 so in other words 0. In fact d turns out to be 0. In other words it goes through the uh, the plane goes through the origin. Do check that any of the points a, b or c would give the dot product with n equal to zero. And therefore we can say that our equation of the plane is r dotted with the normal vector, which is 2, negative 7, negative 3, is equal to zero. Now here's that written out neatly for you, so do check through and make sure you understand how that has been done. So we've worked out the vectors in the plane, A, B and A, C, their cross product using this formula here. We could equally well have used, it, used the determinant uh, method to find the cross product and I'll do that in the next example. And then we get the equation of the plane. So let's move on to a second example and this time we're given a point A and a, uh, a line in the plane. So here's the information we've got. We've got the point A and then the equation of the line gives us a position B and a direction vector. Let's just go back and check that. We've got the position vector from here, that's our point B, and the direction vector, which is 1, negative 3, 2. Now from that information then we need to get two vectors, well we've got the one given to us, the second vector we can get by looking at the vector from A to B. So A, B will be equal to vector B, 2, 3, negative 1, minus vector A, which is 3, 1, 1. So that gives us negative 1, 2, negative 2 for the vector A, B. So to get a normal plane, we need to calculate the cross product of the two known vectors in the plane. So that would be the direction vector 1, negative 3, 2 that we have from the line. Cross product with the vector that we've just found, which is negative 1, 2, negative 2. And we can do that using the determinant method this time. So that's, this will be i, j, k. And then putting in the values from each of the vectors in turn. 1, negative 3, 2 and negative 1, 2, negative 2. And then if you check that, you should see that we get 2i plus, beg your pardon, minus k, 2i minus k. And now we could find, again, the normal vector dotted with any of the position vectors that we know, so, for example, I'm going to use n dot a. So that will be equal to our vector that we've just found, our normal, 2i minus k, dot product with a position vector of a. So that's 3i plus j plus k. And if you work out that, that dot product, find that it's equal to 5. 
So therefore, the equation of the plane is uh, our, our position vector, uh, general position vector R, which is xi plus yj plus zk, dotted with the normal, this is R dot n, so the normal is 2i minus k, equal to 5. And if we calculate that, therefore, we get 2x and then minus z is equal to 5. And there again, written out neatly, so work through that one and make sure you understand where we've got things from. The uh, first vector in the plane given by the direction vector of the line, the second one coming from the vector AB, and then the normal coming from then the cross product of those two vectors. And once we've got that, we have R dot N equal to D, where I used um, the point uh, B to find the bigger bound, I used the point A, A to find the value of D. Well, that brings to an end this video. In the next one, we'll be using the cross product to find the shortest distance between skew lines.